Criminal justice is not responsible for your PC and or game files. Always monitor your own risk. I also recommend backing up your game files before following this tutorial. Thank you and enjoy the show. What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here and today we're back with another LSPFR tutorial. God bless you guys. God bless America. God bless our troops that are fighting for our freedom. God bless our veterans and God bless Israel. Okay guys, so a lot of you have been asking me to do an updated tutorial on coastal callouts. Alright, and that's what we're going to be doing today. And guys, as you can see to my right over here, we have a lot of mods to download and install. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a process, guys. But just trust me and follow my step-for-step -step instructions. And we'll get through this, guys. And I'll have you playing Coastal Callouts in no time. Trust me. I know how to do this, guys. Alright? So click that first link in there, guys. It says Coastal Callouts. It's going to bring you to this page right here. Now, guys, I want you to keep in mind that we're going to have to stay on this page right here during the entire tutorial, okay? Because we're going to need this page, okay? For a few things. Now, if you'll scroll down, I want you guys to, to go right here where it says requirements. If I can get my, uh, okay, so it's not going to highlight. Anyway, guys, I'm right here. Um, so, the DLC LML package is required to use coastal callouts. Sorry about that, guys. Give me just one second. Okay, there we go. Now it's going to do it. All right, here we go. Let's go back down. Right here. Requirements. The DLC LML package is required to use Coastal Callouts. Install Lenny's Mod Loader first. Then you can download and install the Coastal Callouts LML package using the Mod Manager. Okay, guys. So Lenny's Mod Loader is... Um, is required for this we have to have it to install the coaster callouts through that mod loader as well as our game config now i have all the links in the description below guys for everything that we need and you see up here at the top of my tab okay at the top of my uh of my tabs up here so you know i have everything down there to make it as easy as possible ladies and gentlemen all right so the first thing we're going to do guys we're going to click download this file in coaster callouts you're going to click agree and download and you are going to want the very bottom one right there, the plugin, okay? The plugin. That's the one you want. So download that one. I hope you guys are enjoying the content this week and you are happy where you want to be in life. And then you're just taking to pray with God or some kind of meditation. All right, guys. Now, right here, guys, you can save this wherever you want as long as you know how to get to it, okay? I don't care where you save it as long as you know how to get to it, guys. This will put it in your downloads folder and this will put it where you want right here, okay? So put it wherever you want, guys, as long as you know how to get to it more when we get to the point of, of installation, okay? So now, what I want you to do is go back. After you get done installed, go back. Because you want to stay on your main Coastal Callouts page right here, okay? You want to stay on that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to download Lenny's Mod Loader, all right? So let's go ahead and scroll down Lenny's Mod Loader. Now, if you click the link, guys, in the description... Or you can just click it right here, and it'll take you to Lenny's Mod Loader. Either way, you're going to get there, okay? So when we get to Lenny's Mod Loader, guys, you're going to scroll down and click Download This File. Now, guys, bear with me. This is a bit of an installation process. It does take a little bit. Plus, we're going to be going into Game 2, so. <clears throat> All right, guys, again, save it where you want as long as you know how to get to it, guys, okay? All right, moving on to the next thing, guys. Skip the Game Config for now, and let's go on to the Heap Adjuster. This is your heap adjuster, guys. We're going to need these next four files for sure. All right, go ahead and click download this file right here. The green download button, I mean. And then again, guys, save it where you want to. All right. And then moving on to the next one, it's going to be our pack file limit adjuster. I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, our pack file limit adjuster. Go ahead and click download here. This is a really cool call out pack, guys. Really cool. Uh, what do you want to do with this, uh, with the pack file and adjuster, guys? As I said, guys, just save it wherever you want, uh, as long as you know how to get to it, okay? Moving on to the next one, it's going to be our C weapon info blob limit adjuster, okay? We're going to need this as well. Click download. I'm going to show you guys how to install every single one of these mods. All right, guys, again, save it where you want, okay? Just save that wherever, wherever you'd like. Again, guys, this will put in your downloads folder. This will save it where you want to save it at, okay? And last but not least, guys, this is not recommended. It's 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 optional, um, but I do I do like this mod, and it's completely up to you guys whether you want to install it or whether you don't. But it's not really required because the choppers are 
the choppers are going to take off no matter what you do. But what this is for is it actually allows you to taxi your choppers in and out of the hangar. So, in other words, drive them, okay? Because these, these choppers do have wheels on them, and you can actually drive them. I do recommend getting this. It's a really cool mod, but you don't have to if you don't want to. It's completely up to you guys. But if you want it, go ahead and click download. So anything from Coastal Callouts, it allows you to taxi it. It's really cool. Uh, so what do you want to do with Hello Taxi? Uh, guys, again, just save it where you want as long as you know how to get to it. Now let's click out of that. And we are going to go back to the Coastal Callouts page. Okay, guys? So you're going to stay right here. All right, and Lenny's Mod Loader, we've downloaded that, so we can close out of the Lenny's Mod Loader one right there, and all we need is the Coastal Callouts and the game config up, okay? So, go ahead and minimize this, and then pull up your GTA 5 main directory, all right, because you are going to need this, all right? Now, the first thing we're going to install, guys, is the Lenny's Mod Loader, which is going to be the LML Beta 03, okay? Now you're going to go to this right here which says Mod Loader and double click on that. You're going to highlight every single one of these guys right here. Uh, with the exception of this one right here. This is Place All This in the Game Root. Hold down your Control Key and deselect that one. Alright. Grab every single one of these files right here guys. Pull them in your main directory just like this. And drop them just like that. Okay. Now let's refresh it. Go back. You should now have an LML folder in your main directory. Okay. Along with all these other files. All right, let's close out of that and get rid of... Oh, no, my bad. Go back into the Lenny's Mod Loader. Uh, WinRAR, my, my, my mistake. And open up the Mod Manager. We just installed the Mod Loader. Just go to Mod Manager. I'm sorry, don't open it. Do not open this. You want to just grab this right here, the Mod Manager. Pull it into your main directory like this and drop it, okay? Now, go ahead and refresh it. And now you should have a Lenny's Mod Loader folder. And a mod manager folder right here. And inside of that is your mod manager right here, guys. We're going to get to that in just a minute, okay? Let's go back to the main directory. And let's go ahead and close out of our Lindy's mod loader. We can get rid of that shortcut. We're done with that. And we're going to go ahead and install the heap adjuster, the pack file limit adjuster, the C blob limit adjuster, and the hello taxi, okay? So here's what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and open up our heap adjuster. You're going to grab both of these files right here, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to grab them, pull them into your main directory just like this, and drop them. Okay? It's the same with the next few. It's all in the main directory. So go ahead and close out of that. Get rid of your shortcut. Pull up your pack file limit adjuster. Same thing, ladies and gentlemen. Highlight these, but do not highlight the readme text. Leave that out. Just highlight the uh, ASI file and the configuration setting. Grab both of those into your main directory just like that. Drag and drop. Okay? We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Close out of that. Delete the shortcut. And then pull up your C Weapon Info Blob uh, Adjuster. And grab both of these files again, ladies and gentlemen. Pull them into your main directory like that. And drop them, okay? And refresh your directory, of course. Close out of this. Get rid of the shortcut. And next, we are going to be installing the Hello Taxi. Now, this is going to go into your plugins folder. So go over to your main directory and double click on your plugins folder, okay? Double click on Hello Taxi. Double click on Copy to Plugins folder. And grab every single one of these right here. Drag them and drop them. You should be in GTA 5 plugins. Drop them right here into your plugins folder, just like that, okay? Refresh it, put it in its place. Close out of that. Get rid of that shortcut. Now, we're going to get into the installation. We will install the plugins last. We're going to install that last, okay? So here's what we're going to do. Now, here's what we got to do, guys. Go back to your main directory and click inside of the Mod Manager, okay? And you're going to want to double-click on ModManager.ui. All right? And it's going to pull this up. It's going to tell you about Lenny's Modeler. You guys can read this if you want, but I'm going to lead you right through it. So here's the thing, guys. When you are downloading a mod, it's going to start right here, okay? When, you're, when your mod is installing, it will be right here. When it's finished installing, it will be right here, okay? So here's what I want you to do. I want you guys to click on that arrow right there and then just minimize. Do not close this. Just minimize Lenny's Mod Loader just like this, okay? Minimize that. Now, open up your Coastal Callouts page again, all right? And what we're going to do first, guys, is go ahead and install the... Uh, let's go ahead and install the Coastal Callouts first. 
So go to Coastal Callouts right here, right where we downloaded it a while ago, and except this time, we're not going to click this one. We're going to click Download with Mod Manager. So click that, and there's only going to be one file available for this, which is the very top one, Coastal Callouts, LMLPackage.zip. Go ahead and click Download. All right. Now, that is downloaded. If you'll pull up your LML thing, it should start downloading here in a minute. There it goes right there, guys. Coastal Callouts. Go ahead and minimize this, guys. Go ahead and minimize your lineage mod loader again. And then close. you can go ahead and close out of this page right here. Next up is the game config, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to download this one the same exact way we did the last one. So scroll down and go to Download with Mod Manager and click that. All right. And it is also now downloading. Pull up your Linux mod loader. And there it is right there. They're downloading. So minimize your mod manager. And then close out of the pages up here. And now we just wait. Okay. We just wait. We have to wait on these to install before we can do anything else, guys. All right. So it looks like it's going to take a minute. So I will see you guys when this is finished. All right, guys and girls. So this is almost done. I do want to mention, guys, that... Um, I do highly recommend installing Fire Callouts with Coastal Callouts uh, by Panos. Uh, Fire Callouts is by Panos. <clears throat> He's a really amazing modder. I really love this guy's stuff. Um, but I really recommend installing Fire Callouts, guys. Okay, and I will actually leave the link in the description below on my tutorial showing you on my tutorial showing you how to install Fire Callouts. Okay, these are done, guys. So if you just want to click up here. When they're done, they should be right here. Now, keep in mind, guys, make sure these, these two boxes should come checked automatically by default. If they're not checked by any chance, just go ahead and check them and make sure these two boxes on this end are not checked, okay? Uh, it's it's safe to go ahead and close out of the mod loader. Um, so, guys, I do recommend getting fire call outs, and also I recommend having EUP. Uh, I'll leave links in the description below for my tutorials on how to install EUP, Law and Order, EUP Menu, and EUP Serve and Rescue, as well as how to install Fire Callouts. Um, of course, you guys know, of, but if you don't know, you have to have LSPFR to run this, okay? And I'll also leave a link in the description below showing you how to install the latest version of LSPFR. All right? Just wanted to throw that out there, guys. Fire Callouts is really cool with Coastal Callouts. They really go good together. It's a really good combination. So now that we got that done, guys, one last thing. Let's open up our Coastal Callouts plugin WinRAR. All right? And double click on script installation. And double click on GTA 5 folder. And then highlight every single one of these right here, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to pull these into your main directory. You're going to drop them just like that, okay? And there it goes. If it asks you to replace files, go ahead and replace them, okay? If it doesn't, don't worry about it. All right, and close out of this. Get rid of that shortcut. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. You have successfully installed Coastal Callouts. Now, uh, before we go on the game, guys, I do want to tell you that if you have Police Smart Radio installed, which I also recommend for this, and I will also leave a link in the description below showing you my tutorial on how to install Police Smart Radio, I recommend Police Smart Radio for this because when you go into the game, if you have Police Smart Radio installed already, <clears throat> it's going to ask you through Police Smart Radio and Coastal Callouts to enable some buttons, okay? So I'll show you guys how to do all that once we get in the game. Also, guys, listen. We all know, everybody that plays LSPFR knows that crashing is common. It's very common in LSPFR. Everybody's LSPFR crashes, even mine crashes, guys. So I do want to forewarn you guys that if your game crashes by any chance when installing a, a callout like this, especially with a package this big, is there's a there's a chance it's going to crash, okay? <clears throat> if it does, okay? If it does crash, <clears throat> don't worry about it. Just exit out of the game and go back into it. Keep doing that until you get it right. If it crashes on you maybe two or three times or whatever, keep going back in the game until you get it right, okay, guys? Because, um... That can happen. It's just a chance it will, and there's a chance it won't happen, okay? But crashing is very common in LSPFR. Uh, that's just modding for you, okay? And I don't care what anybody says, crashing is common in this in, in the modding world, okay? That's just the way it works. So, guys, let's go ahead and refresh our directory. Um, I don't think we need to go over anything in the INI file of this or the folder or anything like that. I don't think there is an INI file for Coastal Callouts, is there? default let's see right here here's an ini file right here i wouldn't recommend changing anything here guys i will leave everything just the way it is 
Um, and, uh, yeah, I would just leave it like that. I mean, you can change it if you want to. Once you get the hang of it, go back. You can change everything if you want to. But I would just leave it the way it is. And let's go ahead and uh, refresh that. Close out of our directory, guys. And I will see you inside of LSPFR. All right, guys. So we are loading into the game. And let's cross our fingers. <laughs> It happens though, guys. Crashing is very common on LSPFR. It's just, uh, it's just something that happens with modding. Sorry if I sound a little draggy, guys, or down. I just, I'm really tired. I haven't had much sleep. So, uh, all right, guys. So you're probably after installing coastal callouts. You're more than likely going to spawn off duty. Let's turn our TV off. I can't stand that thing. We're going to stand up. All right. We're going to press F4. F4 console key and type in F O R C E and then hit tab. Okay, we're gonna press enter just like that. Okay, now give it just a second. <clears throat> okay, we have to go to the setup online privacy information, guys. This is just all privacy information. Um, just take your arrows and go over to config and then hit enter. And if um, if you have a, if you are a, um, if you run the PNW uh, Parks fan, I, I can't remember, P, yeah, right there it is, PNW Parks fan, if you're a, if you are a PNW Parks fan in his club or whatever it is that he's got going on, you would click this one right here on the top, uh, that is for members only, uh, I am not a member, um, so I'm gonna go down, if you're not a member, if you are a member, click the top one, if you're not, go ahead and click the bottom one, you have to click the the next one anyway regardless and then click accept and continue okay it's going to load up um, everything here all right and guys if you're getting those stop the ped warnings we're using transport from stop the ped and rest manager and stop the ped from uh you're just getting all these corner the the warning for the corner service and tow service on that don't worry about it guys it's it, it happens to all of us all right guys so here is here it is be very careful how you do this guys very careful Okay, so it says, adding a new button, boat backup to onfoot.xml. Would you like to enable it on foot? Now, we are going to very slowly and very carefully, guys. Do not slip up and hit the two. If you do, you're going to mess this whole thing up, okay? You only get one shot at this, all right? So very slowly on top of the keyboard, your number's on top, not the numpad. The number's on top of the keyboard. Start spamming the one very slowly and very carefully just like that okay and now it's going to enable your buttons for coastal callouts all right and now that we're back at this point guys go ahead and press f4 again type in f o r c e and hit tab and hit enter and there we go guys that's it now there is dependencies for coastal callouts. Um, there's one for um, a mission optional spotlight by Alex Guire, and um, there's also police tape and better EMS guys. Those are dependencies for coastal callouts. However, you don't have to have those. Um, I've tried better EMS. I've tried police tape, and I've had a couple people ask me about them. A few people asked about it on my YouTube. Um, and the better EMS and, and police tape, in my opinion, is just not worth it. Like, I just, I didn't, in my opinion, I didn't really like them. Um, you know, but that's up to you guys. If you guys would like to install those, you're more than welcome to. Uh, but I tried them both, and they're just, to me, in my opinion, they're just, be a better EMS and police tape is just not worth it to me. So, let's go ahead and go on out here, guys. We're going to get in these coastal callouts. Going to walk out the dial. Here we go, man. I'm so tired, guys. I'm, working, I'm running about probably like, uh, you know, two hours of sleep. So, it's, uh, it's hard on me, man. Alright, guys, so, <clears throat> first thing you're going to do to pull up your coastal callouts. Now, if you have, um, keep in mind, if you have EUP, Hello? you can pull that up. I'm going to go ahead and get in a, get in a outfit here. I'm going to go to serve and rescue. You can pick the United States Coast Guard right there or lifeguard, guys, okay? So, your lifeguard outfits are going to look like this. Dude, my guy has a bird chest. Look at that. All right. I personally like um, I like that one, and I like that one right there. That one's pretty cool. We can go back and go to United States Coast Guard. 
And uh, here's your Coast Guard outfits, guys. These are all actually really cool. The first two are my favorite, though. Um, and that swimmer outfit. I really like the swimmer outfit. So we're just going to get in a, uh, a Coast Guard patrol type uh, boat patrol thing. And uh, let's go back. Now, on your keyboard, guys, to pull up your coastal callouts. Let me make sure my callouts are actually off for right now so that I don't, we don't get interrupted. All right. So to pull up your coastal callouts, guys, if you look at the top, towards the top of your keyboard, right next to the P key, guys, the P, the letter P, there is two brackets right there. Okay. It's not the first bracket, but it's the second one. It's going to be your right bracket. So push that. It's going to pull up your coastal callouts. Okay. This shows your coastal callouts menu, your boat menu, your helicopter menu, planes and cargo, uh, search menu. Now, if we go down, this will allow us to spawn vehicles, motor lifeboat, response boat medium, a United States Coast Guard defender. Uh, it's just got endless amounts of stuff in here you can you can spawn, guys. Even got a fire boat that's really good with fire callouts. Uh, Coast Guard dinghy. Uh, and it's also got your, uh, there's your Jayhawk in here. That is your uh, helicopter, I believe, one of the helicopters. And, um, and then, your, of course, your big uh, Coast Guard airplanes are in here as well. I think that's the Hercules. Uh, but they are very, very awesome, guys. Now, if we go down here, you can teleport to different stations, okay? So we're going to teleport to Polito Coast Guard Station, all right? We're going to go there. We're just going to teleport on over to there. All right, so we are here. Let me back out of that. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, let's see here. So this is your United States Coast Guard uh, station, one of them anyway. Let's get on around here a little bit. All right. And I guess they took the boats out of the, out of the car. There's usually boats uh, spawned automatically, but... Uh, we'll, we'll get that figured out. So, we're going to walk up on the dock here, guys. Alright. Now, another, I'm going to show you another cool thing about this here in just a minute where you can uh, hoist yourself up in a chopper and all that. Now, we're going to walk out here, guys, and we're going to spawn a boat. So, let's go ahead and hit that right bracket again and pull up our menu. Now, guys, there's also something else that's really cool about this. You can open up call-out config menu right there and receive only coastal call-outs by checking that right there. See? See that? So we're going to do that. And uh, if you guys will look down through here, there's also a training exercise you go through. Like training callouts. I do recommend going to the training, guys. These callouts are um, pretty well put together. And uh, they're kind of hard to do. you got to just kind of figure it out. We are going to spawn a... Uh, Attention all units. We've got... There's a fleeing boat right a there. suspect resisting arrest. In the Palato Bay so Delta. I'm trying to get a, uh, trying to find a, a normal boat here, just something normal. There's a jet ski, Coast Guard truck. They have Coast Guard trucks. Um, okay, motor lifeboat. So we're gonna we're gonna spawn that real quick. All right. There's one of your boats here, guys. Of course, hit your E on your keyboard to spawn this, just like you do anything. I mean, to turn your signs like you do anything else. You can hit the J on your keyboard to turn the siren off and just leave your light going. <clears throat> Alright guys. But these boats are pretty cool, man. They come in different sizes, that's, that's for sure. Let's hit our right bracket again. And this is going to be your boat menu. So if you get a call um, to a boat in distress, this will take you out. You can actually hook your boat up to the other one by backing up to it. And hook your boat to it. And you do that by hitting your right bracket and going to open boat towing menu. And then um, you would go to tow with your boat. And it would automatically hook to the other boat and you can pull it back to shore. Okay. So with that being said, let's go ahead and check out some more of the vehicles. Alright, so let's check out this one right here. Now this is just a regular response boat medium. Okay, that's your regular, regular response boat. And then uh, there's United States Coast Guard Defender. Yeah, they're, they're all pretty nice, guys. These are all nice boats. And then the United States Coast Guard Defender Tactical. There's your tactical boat. There's your Port Police Defender. There's your Sheriff Defender. There's your Sheriff Response Boat. Like that. 
Now, these are all really cool boats, guys. Now, here's the fire boat. I really like this. Uh, now, guys, on the back of this boat... Um, let me... Let me hop off here for a minute. Now, on the back of this boat... <clears throat> You can actually operate these sprayers back here. Um, but I believe you have to be a Patreon of um, Panos. And I would recommend being a Patreon of Panos anyway, just because his fire callouts are awesome. And if you're a Patreon on this page, you get early access to beta versions of fire callouts, which comes with a lot more, uh, a lot more uh, stuff that, than what you get on a on a normal fire call outs like the ones he releases to the public um you actually get be able to work a fire hose in your hand uh he's now got it to where you go to the back of the fire trucks turn on the fire pump uh, i'm sorry the water pump <clears throat> and uh you're gonna have a water hose you, you can grab a ladder you can grab cones um it's just endless amounts of stuff guys even a saw that cuts the doors off of cars so it's really realistic guys i highly recommend the fire call outs with this cost coaster call outs um so here's what we're going to do, guys. I'm actually going to, uh, we're going to stay right here. Now, I'm going to show you guys something. We're going to go down and we're going to anchor the boat. Now, the boat's going to be completely still. All right. And then I'm going to request a chopper to come pick me up. So let's get the, um, let's get the Jayhawk chopper. Attention all units. All right. Units I'm show you guys how this support works. Off the north coast. Air support now, see right there, this is press J to enable hoist. Uh, press uh, left control plus U to use the helicam. So if I hit left control U, there's the helicopter coming in right there, guys. See that? All right. There it is. Now he's going to come right overhead. And we can actually move the camera down like this. See that? All right. And you can zoom in. All right, and my guy's waiting. Of course, he's walking, too, while I'm working the controller. <laughs> All right, so let's get out of the cam. All right, and uh, let's go ahead and let's see. There it is right there. Enable hoist. It's the K button, guys. Hit the K button. And uh, the uh, you, hit the, uh, you hit the plus to bring it down and the minus to take it up on your numpad. Uh, the quicker way to actually do this, let's go on to, uh, let's change our view here. You want to be in this view right here. You're going to hold down shift and hit the plus button and then just let it go and it'll go down all by itself. So once the hoist is coming down, we'll go back to our guy. All right. And we're going to wait on that hoist to come down. There comes the hoist. I'm going to show you guys how to get on this thing pretty simple it's just really cool all around I right, guess there's our hoist we're gonna walk out if I can disable that cam and then uh, gonna walk out you're gonna go over to your numpad and hit that star right beside the forward slash okay oh my mistake hang on guys Let's get back up there. Can I get back up like that? There we go. Alright, now. Now we're on the hoist, guys. Hit that star right beside the forward slash on the numpad. And then hit shift and minus, and you're gonna start going up. Go back to the, the, the chopper cam. Alright. It's gonna bring you right up into the into the chopper. Now this is when you do a lot of your coast guard stuff here, guys, like your you want to take a chopper out to see when there's, a, when there's a boat in distress or people need to be rescued or something like that, you would use this chopper for that. Or you can use the boat for it. It's completely up to you guys. Um, let's get up in here. Once you're up in the boat and it stops like that, hit, hit the star again on your numpad. It's going to put him in the boat. Okay. You're going to go like this. Now, the way that you get the pilot inside the chopper to go where you want is you pull up your map. All right. And let's say we want him to go over to this spot over here, okay? You set the waypoint, exit out. He will go wherever you set a waypoint, okay? Wherever you set a waypoint, that's where he'll go. All right, so he's going to go to the waypoint, and then he'll stop. 
I'm going to pull the menu back up. You can actually switch what seat you're in. We're going to go to the co-pilot seat. That puts us in the front. And uh, we're going to slow him down just a little bit. All right. And then I'm going to take you guys back to land and show you how to how to land the chopper. So, he's going to the waypoint. He'll stop right there at the waypoint. Guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this video, man. This These coastal clouds are pretty cool, man. I really dig them. All right. So, we're going to pull this back up. All right. We're going to get rid of that waypoint. Now, I'm going to take this. I'm going to have him go back to land. And we're going to find some place where we can actually land at. So, we are going to go over to... Um, Let's see, I think we'll fly over to, we're going to fly over to the Navy base here. We're going to fly over to uh, the military base. So we'll go right there, and then he's going to fly that way. Let me make sure that he's flying at top speed. I'm going to hit the right bracket, and you want to go down to maintain top speed, and he'll speed it up. Okay? And then once we get over to our designated area, I'll show you guys how to land the chopper. Now this this call out is this call out back is pretty cool, man. It's and like I said, guys, I recommend having EUP. Of course, you have to have LSPFR, and I recommend having fire call outs. And like I told you at the beginning of the video, guys, I will leave all those links in the description below, showing you um, on my tutorials, showing you how to install fire call outs, LSPFR, and EUP. So I highly recommend those guys um, because when you do fire call outs with um, with coastal callouts, um, and then you put get your fire boat, and you get like a dock fire. You can take that boat <clears throat> and go put that fire out from the boat. It's got a big sprayer on the top of it, so it's actually really cool. So here we go, guys. We are about to pull up. I hope he don't hit that. Okay, he went he went around it. So let's uh, let's go ahead and slow him down. And now we are going to land the chopper, guys, okay? So let's hit that right bracket. We're going to go to land helicopter. Now this is going to put a yellow mark right down below you, right there, guys. There, you see it? You're going to use your numpad. Eight will take it up. Right will go, I mean, sorry, four will go left. Six will go, six will go right. We're going to take it up. And two will bring it back. Five resets it, I believe, or something like that. Does it? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take it up and over this way. And we're actually going to have him land. And see, he keeps turning. So every time he turns, it changes the direction of the of what, the way that you're going. So I'm going to have him land right over there. Once you got it to where you want it, guys, hit enter. And then he's going to, uh, he's going to land right there. Available Coast Guard unit. We have See right there guys like vessel on fire. That'd be coast. perfect fire call out to your fire boat right there. Alright guys, so he's gonna land the chopper. And now we are safe to get out. And that is pretty much it, guys and girls. Uh, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I do recommend going to the training. Now you can use the call out, uh, you can use the coastal call outs menu to go to the call outs, the coastal call outs if you'd like. Um, let me show you where that is. So go this to this part right here where it says Coastal Callouts. Go down to Open Callout Config Menu. And here's all your Coastal Callouts You're right here, guys. Okay? Now, you can, you can go like that. Or what I recommend doing, guys, is getting Callout Manager. If you do not have Callout Manager, guys, I'll leave a link there showing you how to install that as well. Okay? So let's open up, um, let's open up my Callout Manager here. And you go down to Coastal Callouts. This will allow you to select what call out you want, okay? So, for example, the training, where is that at? Where is the training at? Uh, let's see, which one is the training? I believe it is the, um, the ship rescue. I believe that is, oh, right here. Right here, boat LEO training and then rescue training right here. That's it, guys. So you can go through rescue training, boat LEO training. So you can't go wrong with these guys. It's going to show you how to do it regardless. Um, and then when you want to get rid of that thing on the top right of your screen, hit the K button and then go down and click delete hoist. Okay. The hoist is now deleted and you are good to go, guys. That is your LSPFR tutorial for the day on Coastal Callouts. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for tuning in. 
As I said, guys, I will leave all the links in the description below showing you how to install fire callouts, uh, EUP, LSPFR 0.4.7, and callout manager as well. Because I do think that, in my opinion, you need all those to, uh, of course, you need, you absolutely have to have LSPFR, but I do recommend having fire callouts and EUP and uh, callout manager with this, guys. Uh, but thank you all for tuning in the video. I appreciate it so much. Um, guys, make sure you check my description for my Google Docs. As well, oh, sorry man, damn. excuse me bro. I'm taking this chopper out of here and you ain't going. You ain't invited. See you brother. Um, so guys, uh, check my description below for my Discord guys. If you have any trouble with your coaster callouts at all, please get with my Discord team guys because it's getting, I, I just can't help you guys individually with your with your game issues. It's just, it's just getting too busy for me. I'm almost at 11,000 subs and it's getting really busy for me guys. So please get with my Discord team. They are very knowledgeable on LSPFR and they can help you guys. Um, you know, it's not that I, I, I don't know how to help you. I have the knowledge. I just don't have the time, guys. So please click my Discord link if you have any issues at all. Get with my Discord team, and they will be more than happy to help you out. Also, guys, check out my YouTube brothers. It's going to be Captain Horn, uh, 23, Jeffrey Gamer, The True Uprising, Brandon Hope Vlog, Simon the Bell Bondsman, and Cookies and Cream, guys. So check those guys out. Subscribe, subscribe to their channels and show them some love. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it. Thank you for tuning into this video today. Until next time, God bless. Take care. Stay in prayer. Love one another. And peace out. Goodbye, chopper. Woo, that was close. Holy shit.